We are in Hoi An. Good morning from Hoi An. So today we are in the old town and we will be taking you guys around with us. We are super stoked. We are just here at a beautiful rooftop having quick coffee before we head off. Yeah, so Kim and I stumbled across this cafe and it is a rooftop cafe and I'm surprised no one's here. I guess it's because it's really hot. Yeah, I mean it's a, bit, a little bit past nine and it is really hot but this would make a perfect spot for early morning yeah. or kind of sunset. Uh, downstairs we saw that it said that it was the best viewed cafe of the old city, so the old town, so it's really nice to be starting here. Mm. It's really nice to get an overview of this, isn't it? You get like, you get the sight of the old town on the left of us and all the old houses and stuff. Yeah, I mean you can see quite far, whether all the way back, all the mountains. Okay, so we finished up with coffee and now we're on to our first destination. So this place is a place that I've been wanting to go to and try. A meal that we've been both wanting to try for a long time now. I can't wait, I'm super excited. Yeah, and it's such a beautiful walk right now. It's a beautiful day, lots of people are out and about, riding their bicycles around, taking photos. It's just a really nice atmosphere. Cool. So we're about to head over the bridge, the famous bridge here. I believe it is the Chinese bridge. Japanese bridge. Japanese, sorry. Japanese bridge. And I believe they're still renovating, so I'm not too sure if we can get through. Um, and I do know that it's still open, but it's not completed with, in terms of the renovation. So I might just swing by um, because our destination is just a little bit, bit past there and see what it looks like. Just uh, making our way to the breakfast spot, and it is a little bit past 10, 33 degrees already. So, expect it to be a very hot day, guys. It is hot navigating through these little streets. So, we just crossed the bridge into the alley straight away. You might miss it if anything, if you blink, you'll miss it. But it's just in this narrow little alleyway, and it should be right here. So unfortunately we made it over to where we needed to be but it's just closed, they're closed for the day so we're just finding another uh, restaurant nearby or wherever would sell that dish um, so we're just walking around and hopefully come across one soon. Finally made it here. We found another location which is highly reviewed, and it has the dish that we want. Let's sit down. All right, so the meal has arrived, and wow, Ooh. I am excited. Me too. So the dish is called gao lao, which translates to high floor, high level, high level. Yep. And the dish is called this because uh, back then I believe the Chinese would eat it on a higher level and kind of look down into the old town so that's the name and have main, remained the same mm. and, and yeah so what it consists of is it is a rice noodle soaked in live water mm. hence why it's kind of brown it has a tinge brown and it tends to be a little bit more al dente mm. and it is soaked in kind of like a soy based sauce they mix up with the lettuce on the bottom and then you got the bean sprouts, the pork, and then the wonton skins. Yeah, it looks good to be honest. There's bean, yeah, as you mentioned, bean sprouts, a lot of sauce, 
and yeah because the noodles are soaked in lye water it does have a different texture which I think is the beauty of the meal and yeah. why people uh, come to really enjoy it very different style kind of uh, dish to what you know to the typical Vietnamese dish yes. of course it's been influenced and it's really nice to be trying something new once again once again <laughs> and it is known here in Hoi An yeah so it originates from here and you can yeah. only you can get it other places, but it's originated from here. It's the most yeah. popular to try it clearly from where it's from. Yeah. I'm going to go for it. We haven't covered this dish before, which is amazing because I, I love to, we love to show you guys mm. the dishes from each city oh. and we love showing new dishes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, can't wait to try this. Yum. The texture of the nui, uh, the noodle nui. Yum. Is, how do you explain that? It is bouncy. Mm, bouncy? The sauce is really nice and it tastes like the pork essence from it, mm. kind of the soy uh, taste as well. I'm not actually sure what's in the sauce, but that's the taste that I am getting. Big oh, pieces of pork soy. like this. Ooh. Uh. The pork and the kind of crispy mm. kind of wonton skin makes it so good because it adds that extra value, adds that crunch that we absolutely love. Mm. The pork is really good. Mm. So much flavor. I was just going to say it's well marinated. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I know this is cliche to say, but it's so good. <laughs> this is really, really good. I feel like I miss out that every video. It's just me going, mmm, so good. Exactly. But it's really good. Yeah. Fresh herbs would go really well. Let's try. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the lady said to put some saute and lime. Mm. I know some people might not like the texture of these noodles because they are a little bit, you know, chewy, mm -hmm. to say the least. That's but true. I absolutely love it because it soaks in all the sauces. It soaks it in perfectly. Wow. I do. I like it. It's very unique. But judging the appearance, I thought it would be a little bit more soft. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the bite that it does give. Check out this bite. Wow. I'm gonna try it with the satay now and I'm not too sure if that's gonna change the taste and mm. I really we really enjoy spice food but sometimes when you put it over powers and it takes away you know what it's supposed to taste like mm -hmm. and that can be a bit of a bummer. Yeah that's a big downfall when you add too many spices. <laughs> <laughs> Got too excited. <laughs> when you add too many spices it kind of changes the taste but no this is a nice sweet satay. A little bit spicy but more on the sweet side. Mm. That's true, I could actually do without the satay. Mm. I like it on its own. Yeah. Uh, that nice essence and saltiness. That is, yeah, a little bit too sweet for me. This dish is just perfect by itself. Mm. No need to change anything. It is just perfect the well, way it is. I finally had a bite with the wonton skin. Mm. I mean, so good. All together. Mm. It's really good. Wow. One more big bite with everything because I've managed to try like little bits and pieces but I feel like everything together goes well but it's a messy bite that <laughs> pork is just so good it seems like it's been marinating for a while yeah. the pork because I mean you can just taste it on the skin of the pork <laughs> it is unbelievably good I sound like a broken record saying this but it is so good it's so hard to get a mouthful mm. wow Right. Mm. Mm. Such a big mouthful, but amazing, so amazing. amazing. Such a good way to start the morning. Mm. Beautiful views and a beautiful meal. Mm -hmm. So just finish up with breakfast and we are quite thirsty so we just headed over to grab a drink at the traditional herbal tea, the popular one. Mm. So this one's famous here, and I believe it's the first one which came out. It's a herbal drink with lemon grass. Yes, and then it's also topped with a lotus uh, leaf, I believe, right? Mm. For decoration with mm. a bamboo straw. So let's head on over, order and sample this drink. I feel a little fancy. Okay. Right, I'm gonna try before you, sorry guys. 
Mmm. It tastes kind of milky. Mm -hmm. Sounds strange, but it tastes milky. And lemongrass, really sweet. Not too it. sweet. Really milky, nice. You should try it. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Sorry, I didn't get it. Oh, good it's good look it's for them. The viewers, I see. It looks refreshing, guys. Oh. oh, what's that taste? I can't. On the, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like ginger, but it's, it's a bit sour, right? Mmm. Ginger. Do you think it's everything that they have over here in this section? <laughs> yeah, I do believe it's ginger, lemon, lemon grass. All sorts of things. It's super refreshing. It's perfect for this kind of weather. So really nice, and it's a really cute store as well. It's so cute. So Hoiang is known because of ancient town, because of how well preserved it is. So it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is just spectacular walking through these streets and just seeing the buildings of how they used to look. Of course they have been renovated since the time, but they have remained to still have that architecture uh, build, which is really nice to see. Nothing yeah. like we've seen anywhere else in Vietnam. It's the famous yellow paint as all they use. So most restaurant stores Everything, every building uses the same kind of yellow tinge. It's like a mustard yellow Beautiful, and it's famous actually. for it. Yeah, so the town is influenced by Chinese, Japanese, as well as uh, European countries. French. And, yeah, French in particular. And yeah. it's really nice to see the lanterns, Japanese covered bridge as we showed earlier, and just spot out different things. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering what there is to do in the old town, there's heaps to do. Oh yes, you there's, just need a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> So there's cooking classes that you can attend to, there's tailoring shops if you're into getting your suits done. More very affordable, very affordable here. I also spotted uh, this lantern making as well. You can uh, ride your bicycle as well as go on the sit low, which is, I'm not sure what that's called in English. Sit low would be like a tricycle bike or a push bike, I guess. Yeah, someone pushes you around and yeah. you can take in the town as well as, you know, the canals. Um, and there's lots, lots of coffees, nice refreshing drinks, and beautiful walk right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Surprisingly, it's not that hot right now, but it was hot earlier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've made it a couple down, but it's still quite a, a while ago. So our next stop is uh, Tanan, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so we ran into a lovely man who owns a t-shirt printing shop here. Oh, she designs himself, yeah. Yeah, so it's, I guess it's slogans and just... Funny, funny Aussie slogans. Right? Funny Aussie slogans and yeah, we're just talking to him about how nice Hoang is and he's been living here for quite some time now. Gave us a few recommendations of where to kind of stop over whilst we make our way. No, thank you. Over to you know the north as we are on our south to north tour. Yeah. Just making our way to over here. Look how beautiful it looks. Yeah. So the boats here, they're all here for the day trip, and it there's a few there's a few activities, right? So there's the lantern making, or sorry, not the lantern, but the candle kind of floating candle. Oh yeah, at night time on the river. I think these boats are docked up to either go to the coconut boats yeah. to do the basketball tour, basket tour, sorry, or at night time, uh, yeah, to go out and send off the lanterns. And they're just all docked up right now and it looks really nice. So today has been all about trying the foods known to Hoang area and we've just spotted one more to tick off our list which is the bun bao Hoang style so something a little bit different mm. and let's see what it's all about let's the try. soda yeah, yeah, Alright so we've got the bun bao with the fish sauce and chili on the side. So I'm just gonna place some into the bowl itself. Just a little bit. And it's fascinating seeing how she made it. To be honest, it's such a unique snack that I've personally never tried. 
I can't say that I've tried this many times when I was younger. I've never tried it. I guess I want to say it safely that this is the first time trying this. Oh. So you can see there's tapioca on the bottom of the plate. And then she's placed a sauce on top. And then she's garnished it with some of this pork rind, I believe. Oh, it's a jiggly. <laughs> oh, let's try this. Mmm. Yum. Surprisingly, I can barely taste the nook mum, the fish sauce. But that meat pork sauce that she's placed on top is delicious. Wow. Mm, do you like it? Yeah, I like this. Surprisingly. Mmm. Mm. So, Ban Bao translates to water fern cake, and in Hoi An, they do put a thick sauce, and that's how you distinguish the difference, as well as what Dio mentioned the pork uh, crackles. It was pork crackles, right? Yes. Yes, and so we didn't really actually have this item on our list, but we recently discovered that it is very different here in Hoi An. So, we thought, why not? And I'm going to try one. So, did you put right, some sauce on? It looks like a loaded bite, to be honest. And it's a cute little yes! corner here. Where there are other little snacks as well, so we might go explore some more after this. But let's try this. Did you do this in one bite? I did it in two. Because there's heaps. Wow. And it looks like there's some pork mince as well. Yeah. And what's that sauce? It's orange. I'm not entirely sure what that sauce is. Mmm. That's good. One bell. Always has a soft texture. This one in particular is really good. The pork crackling on top makes it really tasty and that sauce is meaty, soft, a bit creamy. I like it. I really like it. It's an amazing snack. It's such an easy snack to find here. I mean you can have like 10 of these plates but the way that they sell it is plates are four minimum and then four, six, eight, ten, etc. But it's super cheap and affordable, super easy snack to just eat refuel yourself as we've been walking all day we just wanted a little snack not so much of a meal but just a little snack so we can just refuel ourselves yeah amazing snack <laughs> all right so we figured that sauce is their own specialty pork and prawn sauce so i do believe the original way of eating it is um sprinkled with some prawns itself yeah, it's like dried dried prawns and then yeah that's a really good do uh, variation. I really like that. Yeah, I love Bun but this variation is definitely my favorite. And I think yeah. we have time, well, we have room, not time, for. Let's try another snack. Let's try one more. Spotted something across the road. Yeah. Earlier. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look here. So there's all types of chair here. So, one that we know is Black Zang. So, the specialty to the area is this one. So, mango cake and soy. And it looks good. Let's try it. So judging by the sound of it, this is a specialty here. It tastes a specialty. Let's try this. So actually it's called mango cake, but it's about a bit some light. It's called mango cake, but it's nothing to do with mango. I'm not too sure why it's actually named that. It's actually apparently a peanut type of mochi. So Ooh. it's interesting, right? Last one. Look at that. Whoa. Oh. A dust in my whole arm full of it. Oh. Flowered, quite big. Yeah. It definitely does feel like a mochi, like a flowered mochi. It reminds me of the one we had in uh, Queen Young. The Ban Ham. Yeah, Ban Ham. Flowered one. Kind of like that, but kind of on steroids. Look how big this thing is. It's like wow. a snowball. I'm going to go for it. Let's try it. Oh. Whoa. It's so flowery. Too flowery, but in the inside there's peanuts in mm. there. Wow. Peanuts, it's really sweet. That's really good. Yeah. That reminds me of sesame snacks. Mmm. Yum. Oh, it's good. I That's always really like good. sesame peanutty things. That's really good. That's the inside. I'm not sure we can take a look, but peanut goodness. There's a lot of peanuts. It's crunchy. It's sugary. The mochi on it is so soft. It is so soft. Only downfall is the flour on it. A little bit too excessive, to mm. be honest. No, yeah, actually, this reminds me of... Bun hum. Sesame? No, oh. no way. <laughs> flour, yes. But for me, I didn't really like the bun hum too much. 
This one reminds me of when you go to Sunday market and you have those roasted peanuts. Whoa, Caramelized yeah. roasted mm -hmm. peanuts. It's like that. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Yeah. Really good way to end today. Like it. Mm. Today we've walked around for a while. We've explored a lot of the old town. And yeah, we've had a really nice day just enjoying ourselves. Finally being able to just walk around and yeah, enjoy ourselves today. Yeah, actually it's been really nice to take, do go by foot today. Do mm. everything by foot. It's also really nice to try some of the foods here that are well known and to mm. share with you guys. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've been here, please let us know what you tried and what your favorite meal was. Um, and we have a lot more Yang videos coming your way, guys. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please help us to give us a like, leave us a comment, and also make sure you subscribe. See you in the next, guys.